Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, April 15th. It's time for daily devotion. I am sorry about not having a video yesterday if you were looking for it. Um, we had some home stuff. Uh, we had some repairs that had to happen and it messed up my whole morning. But to make it up for you, next week I will have two more Jonah daily devotions. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the Jonah daily devotions. I am. But because Thursday, today is Thursday, that means it is Thankful Thursday. And I'm going to read Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is in the, in the God of Jacob, whose Lord hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. That, but he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord, re the Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> So Thursday, last Thursday, after Daily Devotion, uh, was a really good day. Um, it was really cool. Uh, we got to have an outdoor picnic uh, with our Young at Heart group. First time they had met in over a year. It was great to sit down with people and eat, uh, even if it was social distanced around tables. But the thing that just made me so very thankful is that I got to put two of my loves together. Uh, I love being a minister. I love being able to be with the people of God. I love preaching the word of God, although that is a great responsibility that still to this day makes me nervous after 13 or 14 years of ministry. But I also love to cook. And in particular, I love to grill and to do barbecue. Uh, it's just, uh, I, I love being creative and yet being able to eat what I was creative over. And Thursday, I got to put the two together because we had our picnic and I'm, I made barbecue for everybody and I thought it turned out pretty good. But it's, I always find it a joy when I find ways to use things I love to serve God. It's one of the great joys that God gives us. We are, our loves are gifts from God. And God finds ways of using those. So that way we can put our love of God and our love of whatever combined. And I love it. I just think that is so cool. So I'm thankful for barbecue. I'm thankful for being a minister. And I'm thankful for the people of God. Let's pray. Thank you, Holy Lord. Thank you that you have given us loves in our life. Thank you that you have given us the ability to use those loves to serve you and to serve your people. Help us to find joy and gratitude and thanksgiving in all we do. But most importantly, when we are able to use the things in this life that we love to serve you. Amen. Real quick before we leave, if you would like to put what you're thankful for uh, uh, in the comments, I'd love to see it. Or if you even would want to put some of the stuff that you love that God gives you a chance to use, I think that would be really neat too. Uh, well, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you on Monday.